Hi Libra, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48. If this resonates with you at any time, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment the moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple days. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not personal. So anything I say that doesn't resonate with your story, it could very well resonate with another Libran story. Don't be selfish. Share the message, guys. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's as simple as that. And don't shoot the messenger. If this does resonate with you and you do want to book a personal reading with me, I am only doing emergency readings at this time. That just ensures that your reading comes out to you within 24 hours. So it's a quick turnaround time if you're interested in that. I do have many options on my website. You can check that out in the description box down below. If you want to check out my Instagram, I have been doing readings on there for you guys. So if you're interested in that, you can check out my Instagram if you have an Instagram. What else? Um, if you want to shop my store, shop any of the jewelry I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Star Card Tarot Pendant Necklace. And I'm also wearing the Eye Style um, Evil Eye Hamza Hand Necklace as well. I'm also wearing my Tiger's Eye Chakra Bracelet. And I also sell crystal candles, handmade crystal candles. So if you're interested in that, that link will be the first one in the description box, okay? So without further ado, Libra, we're going to get started with you. Okay, Dandelion is playing for you right now, and I have tea, okay? So I'm hearing that dandelion tea would be really good for you. Some of you guys are drinking dandelion tea. I feel like you drink it mixed with something else. Um, or some of you guys may want to get dandelion tea. I forget what it's good for. I know it's good for like helping with kidney stones so if you've been drinking a lot lately or if you know someone who is a drinker and you're worried for them you can you know politely say hey why don't you drink some dandelion tea in the mornings you know to you know whatever i'm just whatever i'm not drinking dandelion tea but i do have tea right here today okay <laughs> let's get your advice for the next 48 hours for my libras What's going on with my Libras? Give me some cards. All right, let's do that and let's do another one. I'm hearing, take another, I'll take another. Let's see. Come on, one more for Libra, please. One more for Libra. Okay, that one to come out. All right, Libra, your messages, okay, from Spirit. It says it's up to you to find the beauty in the ugliest days, okay? So that's a message for some of you guys who have not been having like the most happiest days lately. Um, Spirit's saying pay attention to the good things, okay? Not the bad things. This says, in order to love who you are, you can't hate the experiences that shaped you, okay? Let's read this one. Let's read the back of this one. This one says, anything truly cool about you was created from the life you lived. Remember that when you start to wind down the same... The, uh, 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 uh. Remember when you start to wind down the shame spiral. No time is wasted. No love is wasted. No tears are wasted. No breath is wasted. You being you is important, and every single thing that made you you is of value. Tell shame to suck it. All right. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Libra. Sorry, guys. I'm just very tired today. And I was even battling if I should even record, but I wouldn't feel right if I didn't record, so I'm here. All right, so let's see what's going on. Give me some cards, please, for my Libras. Give me some cards for my Libras. What's going on with my Libras for the next 48 hours? What's going on with my Libras for the next 48 hours? All right, let's see what comes out for you. Two of Pentacles. Okay, what else? The Emperor. Judgment. Mm, there's a call here. There's a call. Two of Swords is here for you to take action. There's something you've been fighting to let go of or to decide on. It could build with a lover. We have the Two of Cups here or someone that you love very much. It's saying Spirit's telling you to decide something. It's like you, the Two of Pentacles, right? So you're juggling right now. Um, You could be juggling two partners maybe in Spirit saying, you know, make a decision. The judgment is time. Or you could be you know, wanting to move forward in your life. It's kind of like this. It's kind of, I'm getting that you're wanting to be more serious in your life or take something more seriously. And this could be a relationship. And maybe someone that you're waiting on is not really getting with the program. And Spirit's saying, like, you know, you can't have both. You can't be with this person and you want a real relationship. Like, you have to head in one path. So if you know someone's not serving you, and this is just an example, guys, but you, if you know someone's not serving you, 
the right energy like you know you know that this person should make a decision on you but they're not and you do want real love or you do want a true love or you do want to be committed but you know you're not going to get it from this person but you're saying to spirit i want to be committed and i want to deal with this person it's kind of like you can't have both and i see you trying to hold on to both there's a call for you to make a, a executive decision here with the emperor okay and it's going to come super fast because the judgment card is here so it's like it's time now libra all right so you could be doing with the taurus virgo capricorn uh, aries with this emperor card also aquarius because to me as a reader emperor also serves as aquarius for me and then you have judgment here so definitely could be an aries all right let's what's the two of pentacles two of pentacles or this is just simply your energy okay give me the two of pentacles yeah the knight of swords it looks like you're you're okay you're planning to make this decision but you're just taking your sweet time but with this knight of swords two of pentacles it's like you know spirit's gonna make the decision for you if you don't make it that happens with everybody so I, if i say that and you feel like oh what do you dream what are you why are you saying it like that that happens for everyone even me like if i have a hard time deciding on something and spirits watching me just fiddle my thumbs best believe a tower moment is going to come and you know choose for me what's the two of pentacles yeah the queen of swords so some of you guys want to be um let me turn this down some of you guys are trying to be super logical about this and this is telling you to use your feelings or something. Some of you guys are also saying you can deal with both situations. I don't know what this is, honestly. But it's like, some of you guys feel like you can deal with both situations because you're not going to get your feelings involved. Like, It's like you're walking away from something, but you're also still remaining friends with this person. But And you're like, I'm not going to get my feelings involved. But I don't know if that works usually. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not putting it against you, Libra. I feel like you can do whatever you say you want to do. But I feel like, does that work usually? It's giving me these vibes of like, I'm moving on from my ex, but we're going to remain friends. And I'm still going to see them and possibly do other things with them every once in a while. But we're just friends. But... It, you know, those kind of situations keep you in your head. The Nine of Swords, okay? All right, let's let's clarify. What's the Knight of Swords? What's the Knight of Swords? Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords. Yeah, the Five of Wands. So you're kind of conflicted right now, or it's just a lot of, you're, you know, you're fighting yourself. You know, you know you should do one thing, but you're not ready to. You have two sides of the coin here and you're just like, I don't know what to do. You're you're also trying to see if you can meet in the middle. You don't want to sacrifice each one, you know? You don't want to sacrifice your friendship with someone, but you also don't want to sacrifice what you want in life. So you want both. And it's like you, in this situation, I don't think you can have both. What's the Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords, please give me the Queen of Swords. It's kind of like, okay, yeah, the Hermit card, you know? Hmm. Some of you guys feel like, okay, I'm going to take a break from something, but you're not letting letting it go entirely, right? So, hmm. I don't know, Libra, really what this is, but it kind of looks like if I have to go from what, what I'm getting, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know. I feel like you guys are choosing to remain friends with someone who you know is not good for you, and that is going to mess up your path. Because even if you're choosing to just be friends with someone, who's to say that the the ex that you're choosing to be remain friends with wants to see you move on from them? Who's to say that they're not going to sabotage your your journey, your growth, right? And that's what it is. Like I have no um, doubt in my mind about you, Libra. I have a doubt about whoever this person is that you kind of having a hard time letting go. That's who I have a doubt for. What's this emperor energy? What's this emperor energy for Libra? What's this emperor energy for Libra? Six of Swords, okay? Um, it's time to heal from this situation too. And you have to make an executive decision, decision in the Eight of Pentacles, okay? But you you know with the Six of Swords usually, yeah, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Cups. It's really hard for you to leave someone behind. You know the Six of Swords is that tarot card where you get in a boat and it's usually two people, you know? It's like usually more than one person or it's the mother and the child, whatever. But you're going to a safer place um, where your mind can rest, where you can heal. It's a journey. 
And I see you making an executive decision to do that and to work on yourself, okay? But I'm wondering if you're you're wanting to hold on to this person too. Like you want to save them a seat on that boat. And it's like, you know, that's up to their... They can catch their own way around. <laughs> What's the Eight of Pentacles, please? What's the Eight of Pentacles? They can pay for their own ferry, okay? Justice card, okay? And the lovers, yeah. A part of you want this... Part of you guys really want this person to say, hey, I'm coming with you. I want to heal this things together. Because I love you, the lovers, the justice. I want to make things right with you. But I don't know. It's just always like the Eight of Cups, you know? Also, I'm getting with the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, like lost... Um, what is it called? Is it lost promises or false? No, false promises, right? Where someone is like, yeah, yeah, I, I want to do that. I want to heal things between us, but they don't put in the work, actually. So it's like, you know, waiting for what? What's the Six of Swords? What's the Six of Swords? Oops. All right, you have the Sun card here and the Empress. A lot of you guys, when you do this healing, you're going to really um, get back to your self-love. Get back to the person you were before you met this person. When you first met this person, Libra, you were very confident. That's kind of what attracted this person to you. It's like, you know, you were the Empress, you were the Sun. So you just knew you were the shit and you basked in that energy and you're super confident. And I feel like some of my Libras that I'm speaking to right now masculine or feminine it's like you know some of that confidence is not what it used to be and spirit really wants you to get that back because back then you knew your worth completely you can know your worth now but you even second guessing your actions to want to better yourself is kind of you know that that's a that's a flag of course i won't say it's a red flag but it's a flag there's a need for you to do this alone, take this separation so that you can have this love back yourself and know what you deserve when it comes to love, okay? What's the judgment card? Give me the judgment card, please. The four of wands. Hmm. What else? The high priestess. What's the four of wands? The nine of pentacles. Interesting. Okay, Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys, too, I don't know if you live with someone. That could also be holding you back. It's like you and this person are not together, but you guys live together. And that could be holding you back as well. That could keep you in limbo. Because you have the Nine of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. That's very con that's contradicting. The Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. The Four of Wands is a, you know, happy home. That could be an issue, honestly. Um, some of you guys just need to learn how to make that um, comfort comfort you know when you think of home you think of comfort of being single with the nine of pentacles that's what spirit's calling you to make this decision it would be the right decision for you even a high priestess what's the high priestess talking about when it comes to libra the three of wands you know also taking some time to see to really see and not be clouded not to be clouded here um there's you know this judgment card taking time to yourself so you can think clearly not being surrounded by this person, not taking into consideration their feelings, even though I know that sounds harsh, but sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to separate someone else's feelings, someone else's wants, desires, and, and what they want between you and them, and think about what you really want, you know? Because sometimes we sacrifice or we take the short end of the stick trying to please someone else. And this high priestess is saying, take some time to yourself, separate yourself so that this three of wands, you can plan. What does your future look like? And does this person even have a seat at that table with you? Some of you guys are going to say, yes, they do have a seat at that table. Okay. What are they bringing to the table? You know, are they bringing, you know, the main course or are they just bringing some Popeye's chicken? Because, you know, you can go get your own Popeye's chicken. <laughs> I, I, it never fails, guys. <laughs> it never fails. I always crack myself up. Mm. You can go get your own two-piece, period, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, let's get your last words. I'm going to go on to this homeboy, homegirl. See what's up with them. See what's up with them. Somebody asked in the comments. They probably was... I don't know. I'm not going to make a joke about that. But someone was like, what's a homeboy, homegirl? That, that, my friend, is the person you're dealing with. <laughs> yeah. 
because sometimes we don't like them. Sometimes we don't like them. So I'm not gonna call them your boo. I'm not gonna call them your lover. Sometimes you don't you don't feel like that's the vibe. So they always gonna be homeboy, homegirl until they prove themselves otherwise, okay? And that's just what it is. <laughs> All right, Libra, let's get your last words. Let's get your last words. I ain't trying to trigger nobody. And that's why they will forever be your homeboy, homegirl. Until you introduce them to me, Libra, as otherwise, okay? That's who I see them as, okay? Libra's little friend, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right last words please for libra last words what's their last words in this situation when it comes to their homeboy homegirl last words please last words all right i love your cooking Libra, see, you know what I'm saying? If you can cook well, you are not looking for somebody to come and slam slam down some Popeye's chicken, them watery ass green beans. Okay now, dig in. Okay, Cajun fries. It's like, no, you want a home cooked meal. Is that what this person's bringing to the table? all right anyway some of you guys cook very well okay all right this is why this is why spirit wants you to think about this because whoever you're dealing with they have no plans on changing this person's if you if this is a long-term relationship like say you've known this person for like i'll say five to ten years you've been dealing with this person you know that this person has never changed since you met them and that's alarming because over time we as people are supposed to change yes we can carry on some of our same traits and traditions but we evolve as people and someone who has not evolved for the better over time that tells you a lot okay this is coming out okay locked up they won't let me out you could be dealing with someone who's been in and out of jail prison whatever or something with the police um recently got involved somewhere okay that could have been an issue with you and this person where like maybe you guys have to call the law enforcement sometimes okay spring this person could be a spring baby something significant could have happened this spring between you and them what else is here traveling soon okay so you could be taking a trip soon this person could travel a lot you could have met this person during traveling during travel actually that's the better way to say it under the bed this keeps this came out for you before libra and i don't know what's under your bed but it has something to do with this person or you might find something under the bed. They have something under the bed that's yours. I don't know, okay? What else is here? Alcoholic, okay? Okay, so you could be dealing with this or your person. Remember what I said about the dandelion tea. If this is, you know, something that you suffer with or I won't even say suffer. If this is something that you deal with or if whoever is around you, dandelion tea came out for some reason, okay? Breakup, yep, 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 yep. That's self-explanatory, right? trust issues okay i feel like you don't even trust this person okay you could have trust issues with this person you could be dealing with a march pisces or an aries something significant could have happened in march you could have that in your chart you could be dealing with a june gemini or a cancer something significant could have happened in june okay what else is here what else is here you left something behind did you leave something under someone's bed okay or they left something under your bed at your house, okay? I'm in love with you. Oh, that's tough, okay? That's tough, that's tough. That's why this is so hard for you to make this decision. You're in love with this person or they're in love with you and you know that. You don't wanna hurt someone's feelings. You don't wanna hurt your own feelings, okay? All right, so let's get your homeboy home. Girl, I'm gonna drink some more tea, guys, because this is soothing me right now. So soothing. All right, let's see. Spirit, give me some messages, please, for Libra's homeboy, homegirl. Give me some messages, please, for Libra's homeboy, homegirl. Messages for Libra's homeboy, homegirl, please. The world card. Someone sees you closing out a cycle. They see you leveling up with the world card, right? I always say the world card is like the checkpoint of tarot. So if you ever play a video game, which some of you guys don't even know, y'all y'all like, no, I don't play video games. But when you, when you reach a certain point in a video game, there's a checkpoint that you know you save the game so you don't have to go back you don't make the same you don't have to repeat cycles in the game okay and also it's like a level up it's like you know that okay you've reached so far it's time to level up you're about to go into something new 
that's the world card. So someone is either doing this in their life or they see you doing this, okay? All right, what else? Ten of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Two of Cups on the bottom, the Four of Cups on the bottom. Whenever I see this Four of Cups, I always think of a drinker, okay? So your person could definitely be a drinker. Um, no judgment at all. Okay, so, hmm. Someone sees you closing a cycle, they're very hurt by this, okay? So if you do decide to move forward without this person or tell this person you need a break from them, you need separation, you need to move out, whatever it is, this is gonna hurt this person very much, okay? Um, I also see this as someone sees that you're hurt, but they're not here to comfort you. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who never comforts you. Comforts you when you're in pain, when you're going through some emotions, maybe because of them or even if it's not because of them you have someone who's very they they act like they don't know how to comfort you or it makes them very uncomfortable to comfort you and that bothers you because you guys are supposed to be closer to where you know you could rely on this person sometimes to comfort you or just be there for you and some of you guys you have someone who doesn't do that for you and it's very hurtful to you like somebody will see you suffering and they'll just be silent or they will avoid avoid you during this time it's very you know Ace of Cups, though, okay? So somebody's like, listen, let's start fresh, okay? Let, or I want to be with you. Somebody's really trying to pour their heart out to you during this time. But that could also be very hurtful. Give me the world card. Give me the world card, please. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody sees you leveling up, Libra. Queen of Pentacles. Or King of Pentacles, whichever um, type of Libra I'm speaking to. It's kind of like someone knows your worth. They know that you're moving on up. What else is here? The Ace of Cups, okay? Somebody, I told you something about, you know, this This is not necessarily so bad, but the, the mood of the reading with this Ten of Swords is making me feel like something is, is not the right time. So I do see this person trying to put an effort because here's the Ace of Cups again popping out for the world card. But remember what I said about how someone, you know, could stop your growth and distract you a little bit. I really get that with the Ace of Cups because like someone sees you trying to close out a cycle and here they come with the Ace of Cups or they see you leveling up and here they come with the Ace of Cups. It's like, what's the motive behind that? What's the Ace of Cups? What's the Ace of Cups on this, this end for the world? The Ten of Swords. Don't trust that energy, okay? Also, remember when I said something about someone doesn't comfort you, okay? It's kind of like someone won't, mend the wounds did i say that already in your reading before where someone will mend the wounds that cause you in this ten of swords but they want to offer you their love and this is when you're trying to walk away someone feels like okay i also get this like um i'm sorry to any cross watcher but a, a desperate energy with this five of cups like you know i have to offer libra this so that they don't leave or they don't move on give me the queen of pentacles page of cups okay Someone's also worried, like say you just got a promotion at your job or say like you're just making more money now, Libra, or this is a season like, you know, like towards summer ending and going into fall is a good season for you with your money. Someone feels like you give less love during that time, like you're more, you're more focused on your finances. So this could be another reason of just trying to come in. All right, what's this Ten of Swords? Ten of Swords, please get the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the Two of Swords, okay, and the Wheel of Fortune. I really feel like someone doesn't come for you, especially with that Two of Swords. That's a non-talking energy. Someone could also feel like it's better to stay away from you when you're in this mode because you guys will just end up fighting. So even if I feel like maybe someone feels like they do try to come for you, but it always ends in a fight, they could feel that way. The Wheel of Fortune, they rather, they rather just let time heal you. <laughs> okay. What's the two of swords? So somebody doesn't like to talk about things when you guys get upset with each other. Yeah, because they feel like they really have to defend themselves against you. So you can have a really a silver tongue, okay? And someone doesn't like that. They're very intimidated during that time. They feel like you hold grudges against them. It's hard to come in and comfort you. What's the will of fortune? 
Yeah, the sun card. Someone's like, you know, time will heal Libra. I just need to give them time. So I'm just going to stay away during this time until they see that you're happy. So someone usually stays away until they see you smiling again or they think that you're okay or you're doing okay, the sun card. Okay. What's the Ace of Cups? What's the Ace of Cups? What's the Ace of Cups ending this? Three of Cups. All right, so somebody wants to come together with you, you know, and be happy and merry, be in love. The Tower card. Ooh. Remember what I said about that tower? Sometimes things will happen and come in. This could be all of a sudden that someone is coming to tell you this. Like you, you're kind of confused when they come to you and ask for this Ace of Cups energy or moment with you because you just, you're like, we were just fighting. So it could be kind of weird. Or it could be, you know, a tower moment that's going to happen if you do accept this from them with the tower card. Tower card, please, spirit. Tower card. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. I really don't see it working out. And it's crazy because, you know, how could you have such awesome cards? I mean, not really, but the Ace of Cups is out here twice. How could you have this great energy and it just doesn't work out? The tower. Well, I said when things are not meant to work out, sometimes spirit will make the decision for you. And it's like, ultimately, even if you decide, okay, I want to have this, spirit's like, well, you really don't want to have this because I feel like you and this person's goals in a relationship don't align. So it's kind of like, you know, what I said about how you may want to be in a, a committed relationship with someone who you can can be there for you emotionally, okay? Because it doesn't look like this person is really like that. Or you just feel like, you know, um, I want to be in a relationship where we grow together, where someone is achieving their goals like me and we're progressing together and it's not toxic but then you're also saying well I still don't want to let go of this person it's kind of like you accepting this is going against your own goals you you know where you're walking and the tower moment you know it's just like spirits like no it's not going to work out here the nine of pentacles you're meant to be um I wouldn't even say a, um by yourself right now single just not meant to be with this person whoever this person is you know exactly who I'm talking about here um give me this three of cups Give me this three of cups. The two of wands, okay? It's really about you making a decision. And Spirit saying to choose yourself, the Empress on the bottom is coming back again. Whether you're masculine or feminine, like I say, stick to what aligns to your goals. What do you want in your life? That's really important, Libra. It's time to not decide for the betterment of this person, but for the betterment of yourself. And I feel like, you know, even if you do want to work things out with this person, you feel like this is your person, now is the time to put yourself first. Just 100%, okay? Let me get your last words. Then we're going to take this to the extended reading for you guys oops, oops. all right let's see last words for libra's homeboy home girl please spirit last words for libra's homeboy home girl give me some cards last words for libra's homeboy home girl last words for libra's homeboy home girl give me some cards please Hmm, who did that just come out for? I don't remember. If you are dealing with the Pisces, I am doing Pisces after this. If you're interested, I mean, I don't know. Okay, let's see one more. Thank you. Let's see what's on the bottom. Oh, I want to change for you. Interesting, interesting. You know, hmm, interesting, okay? Because on your side, it said, I have no plans on changing, okay? So... Someone's flip-flopping in their energy. Somebody's like, you know what? I do want to change for you. But remember what I said too about false promises? You know, you got to gauge if this person is telling you, if they're not even what they're telling you, their actions, okay? What else is here? I want a family with you, okay? That's how they feel. There is great chemistry between you and this person, okay? That makes it very hard to walk away from this person, but this could be calling for you to make that decision, 
for your goals, okay? That's really what it is. It's like, what have you been praying for? What have you been asking spirit for? You know, that's why this is happening. You know, if you were the type of person who was stagnant and you didn't want to grow and you didn't want better for yourself, you would probably could continue being in this energy with this person. But spirit knows your intentions. They know what you want and what you've asked for. And they're saying it's time to clean house a little bit, okay? Now, this is coming out again. So your person could be a police officer or the police or the law enforcement had to get involved with you and your person before. You could be dealing with someone who has player vibes, player energy, okay? They could think that about you, okay? New love. You could also, you know what else too with that Ace of Cups that kept coming out? It's like maybe you're going to be meeting someone new very soon, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. This is coming out, okay? could be in a same-sex relationship or whatever this may mean for you if it doesn't mean anything to you then don't take it okay what else is here you'll be done with the pisces pushing you away yeah so either this person has been pushing you away or you have been pushing this person away recently they feel that what else is here summer so this could all be going down right now obviously vacation are you going on a vacation with this person have you been on a vacation with this person? You and this person traveled together recently. Damn you fine. Yeah, this person loves the way you look. You're very look good looking. This person could also be very good looking as well. All right, guys. So if this resonated, please thumbs up the reading. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. Um, what else? Oh, if you want to follow me to the extended reading, that will be linked in the description box down below. Um, if you want to shop my store, first link in the description box, all my products. Um, and if you want to follow my Instagram page, that will be in the description box down below as well. I love you, Libra, and I'll see you guys in the extended reading. If I don't see you there, I'll see you in your next reading. I'll see you in a new love reading I'm doing this weekend. And I'll also see you in a new money reading I'm doing this weekend. All right. I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye-bye.